Tesla is acquiring more than just Solar City. Model X picks up a big award, and I share my opinion on the future of Tesla after last night's U.S. election. Here are your Tesla tidbits for November 9th, 2016. We lead off with Tesla's announcement that they've acquired German engineering company Groman Engineering. Building very much on the premise that Elon put out about the need to engineer the machine that builds the machine, this acquisition is meant to move Tesla toward that future. The company will become a part of a new group called Tesla Advanced Automation Germany and will be responsible for, quote, several critical elements of Tesla's automated manufacturing systems, end quote. The statement goes on to note that Fremont has increased its production rate by 400% over the last four years, and they expect that this acquisition will help push that number up even more. Another announcement on the Tesla blog tells us that Model X has won the Golden Steering Wheel Award, one of the most prestigious automotive awards in the world. The jury that selects the winner is composed of professional race car drivers, accomplished technicians, editors, designers, and digital and connectivity experts. These folks then spent three days judging the vehicle. The announcement finishes up highlighting the initial struggles with the quality of the vehicle, but then lists all of the improvements made since then. Lastly, I do apologize for missing last night's podcast. I've had a bunch of those lately, and I hope after last night that's the end of it. But I was watching the results of the U.S. election. I'll leave my own politics out of this, as that's not what you're here for. Sticking just to the facts here. It's no secret that President-elect Trump is no champion for the environment. So the question everyone is from everyone is how will this election affect Tesla? The answer in my book is to not expect any federal alternative energy incentives to continue beyond their current expirations. This is a man that has suggested that we withdraw from the Paris Agreement and also a man that is a climate change denier. The only reason to have incentives is to get people to do something you want them to do. With a man in power that doesn't necessarily care about the environment, there's little need for these incentives. As to how this affects Tesla overall, I believe it will have a negligible effect. Tesla already benefits very little from the incentives that are out there, and the main incentive in the U.S., the federal EV tax credit, is already about to expire for Tesla anyhow. While there's a lot of uncertainty looking toward the future here in the U.S., I don't believe we Tesla fans have anything to worry about with our favorite car manufacturer. Be sure to check out the links to today's full stories in the show description. If you get some value out of the show, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tidbits. Even a quarter a month would be greatly appreciated. Thanks as usual to my super patron, John Waltower, and thanks to my new patron, John Murakami, for his support. John, let me know if I mispronounced your name. As John Waltower will tell you, I'm not the best on pronunciations. You can support the show for free through positive reviews on the major media services where you find the show and by simply spreading word of the show to other Tesla lovers. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's it for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.